Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More questions coming at you from my Ask Golf Guru Q&A app, different to my golf app. Golf apps, more reviews, tips, uh, and course vlogs. This is purely Q&A related to anything golfing, sent through the Q&A app for Android, iPhone, iPad devices. Here is a Q&A. Um, we're talking golf grips in this one. Let's get stuck in. So question here, I am new to golf and been playing for about a year now, but I've played baseball all my life and I really started to get into golf and love it. Would a strong grip be a good grip to help stop slicing the ball? Thanks. Interesting question. So strong grip, I think he is saying, so more as a right-handed golfer here, turn my say left hand over to the right and see four knuckles, right hand underneath. Will that help you stopping your slice? No. And yes. Um, let's just start where you should start. If you want to stop a ball curving from left to right, apart from centered strike, let's take that as standard, okay? The only thing you need to do is get the path of the club as it strikes the ball right of the face. Okay, so if you bear that in mind, the path of the club needs to be traveling right, could be going this way, but if the face is more closed than this path, so path of the club is here but the face is this way so close to the path it's going to curve right to left in the air I'm going to go anywhere near your target if my target's straight out in front of me here but it's going to curve right to left in the air so if you want to get rid of left to right spin that's all you've got to do move face uh, move path right of face full stop and center strike which we're taking as standard so look let's think about it if I have a strong grip for me so ha left hand turned over seeing four knuckles right hand under the club that will always tend to make me deliver the face left of, say, my target line, close to my target line, left of my target line. Now, if my face is left of my target line, the only way for me to hit target is to have my path further left than my face. So the strong grip for me won't get rid of my hook if I don't change the delivery of the face. If that encourages the face to be pointing left of that target, I'm going to actually have to try and slice the ball back to target by moving my path left of this face. Okay? If I was to use the strong grip and aim over here, now the face is closed or open to the target, but it feels very close say, to my feet, now I could swing straight and pull tur or hook turn that ball right to left back on the target. So a strong grip won't encourage you to hit a fade or a hook any more than the other. And it can change. I've got people who come with strong grips who do hook the ball uh, because their path is too far right of their face. And I've got people with strong grips who just slice it like you can't believe because they'll take out another torque, use a different way of applying the handle and the club to make sure the face is always open to whatever path or they'll move the path much further left of the face. All you've got to do is move the path right of the face. Have the best way to start strong grip or weak grip is just have as neutral grip as you can from the beginning. Such a good building block for you to make some more what people would call kind of textbooky swings. The people who are playing great golf with strong grips, Langer, um, obviously Dustin Johnson gets into quite a funky position with his face and what have you. Unless you are coming in with those very skilled coordinations and they wouldn't even probably be able to explain to you how they're doing that they can just coordinate where a say a twisted face at the top of the backswing applies to the ball in relationship to the path to find target uh, they wouldn't even be able to articulate how they're doing it they would give a few feelings but they can manage it if you're not coming with that level of ability then definitely starting more in the neutral middle ground is a better place to start. I can hit balls with a strong grip, a weak grip and a neutral grip because I've learned to play with what I would call more of a neutral textbooky grip. So it allows me to find both sides of that quite easily to, to manoeuvre the ball and play with how my face relates to my path. Hope that helps, it's a little bit complicated, but if you just stick with path and face, if you want to get the ball curving right to left, in the air, centered strike, taken as standard, so we're not talking about strike, you need to be getting the path right of the face, not always. Does a strong grip help with that? And often it absolutely doesn't help, but that encourages more of a slice. Thanks for the question. Post comments down below, love to hear what you've got to say. Quite an interesting one, this one, quite different to what maybe some people think. Love to hear, and we'll speak to you soon. 
So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.